Hey my friends, welcome back to Falcons RC, the home of the scale for me yet. And here we have the MiG 21i. Finally, I have the chance to post this video. Uh, well, I built this airplane a couple of months ago, right before my son was born. Actually, uh, we actually use it for the for the pictures that we took of him. <laughs> uh, I was kind of matching his outfit. So anyway, this MiG guys uh, for those of you who don't know about the MiG 21i uh, it was basically just a prototype aircraft uh, it was nothing more than one of those X planes that we call basically um, just mainly to test this wing design right here the, if you haven't noticed it is basically like the wings that you see on the Concorde and this is actually a Russian aircraft uh, this aircraft is nothing more than a MiG-21 too. As you can see, basically what they did was take the wings and tail of the MiG-21 and add these wings to it, to the fuselage basically, uh, to test this wing design for their, you know, for their aircraft that they call the TU-144. You know, they look just like a Concorde basically. So anyway, it turned out very nice guys, so let me go ahead and show you the pictures of how I build it and we come back to it.
okay my friends uh back here now with the mig 21i uh as you can see right here all phone build as you notice on them pictures i'm using the super mega jet from grayson hobbies with a six by four prop on it uh, i'm running a three cell uh 200 uh, 2650 milliamps 40c blue lipo right here copied I'm using a 50 amp speed control with a UBC only because the 50 amp speed control doesn't have one. But I mean, if I think I'm gonna get one with a UBC on it, so I don't have to have the extra UBC because I'm only using two servos, so a UBC on a speed control should be fine for it. Uh, I did flew it once already, uh, I mean, before on, on a four cell, but uh, I didn't notice much of a difference really. Uh, so I decided to go back to, to the three cell. The four cell, what it was doing was actually uh, making my engine a little bit running, a li running hard, basically. And I didn't like that too much. So, you know, I pull it out and just keep flying it with, with the three cell LiPo. Uh, sorry, I don't have a flight video of it yet, but I'll try to get you one as soon as I can, guys. Uh, I broke the wings off on the first fly, basically the main dim fly, because I was doing it back here on my backyard and you see how many trees over here. <laughs> I was coming, I was coming pretty fast, really, and I didn't realize that I was already on on them trees right there. And that thing just went through the trees and broke these wings off. Uh, you really can't tell it on the top because I already fixed all that nice, but you can see it on the bottom. Uh, let me see right here. So you can see the new wings. Yeah, basically this looks like a panel line, but it's actually where it, the wing broke. This is this right here past us this point this whole wing part was gone and on this side was this point right here and this whole part was gone basically it went right through the tree so I have to build new wings for it uh, basically the control surfaces <laughs> uh, it was a good thing that the fuselage didn't have you know a lot of damage uh, so it was pre pretty easy to fix so anyway guys uh, I tried to get you a fly video pretty soon my friends uh, as soon as I can I'll give you a video. Okay guys, thank you for watching. Subscribe. See you next flight.